hello beautiful people welcome to today's video so i'm actually excited to talk about a good news today it's not always that we have to go through processes and procedures and all of that once in a while it's also good for us to also bring you know for me actually to bring you guys some good news because i know that it's not everyone is actually always keeps themselves updated with news and stuff on the internet so before the 15th of may 2024 and i said before if you are the partner eligible partner or spouse of anyone holding the irish general employment permit or the intra corporate transferry irish employment permit you are actually going to get what is called the stamp three which means that you are actually required to hold an employment permit before you can work in ireland but all of that changed on the 15th of may 2024 when the minister for the justice and enterprise trade and employment made the news that all of that is actually going to be changed and eligible spouses will now be moved from the stamp three to stamp one g so this is what today's video is actually going to be about so stay tuned It says the ministers for the justice and enterprise trade and employment has actually announced that eligible spouses and partners of general employment permit and intra corporate transferee Irish employment permit holders who have applied for and have been granted family unification in accordance to the non EEA family unification policy will now be registered on the stamp 1G rather than the stamp 3. You can remember in my intro that I said that eligible spouses. So if you have actually arrived in Ireland through the non EEA family unification policy, then you are eligible. Okay. And it says that this will allow the holders to take up employment without the need to obtain a separate employment permit on their own. Yes. So in addition to this, it says that to this announcement spouses and partners of the critical skill employment permit holders and researchers on a hosting agreement currently on a stamp three are also eligible for a stamp 1g well i did not even know this because i actually thought that if you are on a critical skill permit holder like myself being a nurse okay definitely your spouse is going to have a stamp 1g i never knew that we had people who actually were employment permit holders or researchers on a hosting agreement who actually had spouses this is actually like a surprise for me because i never knew this okay i actually thought that those on the critical skill permit okay like myself being a nurse and many other professionals okay and also researchers on a hosting agreement where like as far as we're actually on stamp one g straight away i never knew that we even had people like that on stamp three okay so this is actually like an eye opener to all of us we still have people on critical skill previously previously i mean but now all that has actually changed so i hope this actually that's the first part of the announcement okay so now no need for whether you're a critical skill permit holder you're a general work permit holder you hold an intra corporate transferee irish employment permit it doesn't mean that your, your spouse has to buy or like say pay for work permits no they all receive the stamp 1g and then there is no need for them to apply for employment permits anymore your spouse just has to come to ireland through the eligible means which is the non-ea family unification policy and then when they arrive in ireland they can take up employment without employment permits okay so now let's look at the third part Paragraph, what it also says which is not really pleasing but i believe that there's still going to be a change very soon okay it says that the application process for eligible spouses and partners who wish to join their family members in ireland remains unchanged so if you haven't watched my video on the types of employment permits in ireland i think you should do that now okay yeah so in ireland if you hold a classical permit or you're a researcher and then you're in ireland you just apply for your spouse immediately you have your permit okay but if you hold the irish general employment permit or the intra corporate transferee irish employment permit then you have to wait for a period of 12 months before you can actually apply for your family and there are some conditions also to that in terms of your wages and all of that so if you haven't watched my video you can actually check this so it says that the process remains the same this, you still have to wait for the 12 month period and i know this is a bit disappointing but for me personally i believe that when you even travel to someone's country you still need some you know some time to be able to gather yourself to prepare yourself like adequately before you can even apply for your family however i think that is actually you know a step in the right direction at least they have made changes so i think we should actually give you know like an applause to the to the ministers because at least they brought some changes so we are hopeful that very soon this is also going to change okay 
so they are like arrangement that has already been made in place for those legally residing in ireland and then they hold the stamp three okay so if you're in ireland and then you hold the stamp three you fall in this category and then you're like oh there are changes what will i do and all of that there are, i think there are good arrangements to that effect okay so from the paragraph showing on the screen it's actually talking about spouses who legally reside in the states and then they hold the stamp 3g what they're actually saying that there is no need for you to actually apply for a new card until that card that you're actually holding expires okay so there is no need for you to put in any new application whether you are in county Dublin, mead kildare wicklow or your relevant and gather local immigration office in the rest of the state to change your current permission from stamp 3 to stamp 1g to acquire a new irp card okay it actually states the amended stamp 3 permission comes in effect on the 15th of may 2024 okay and then it further goes down to also explain that if you hold the stamp 3 you don't have to apply for a new one until it's actually expires okay and it says that further in case let's say you we want to go for any work or you're applying for any work and then you just have you can equally just attach this letter okay so it says that download stamp 3 to stamp 1g employment notice they have the notice the link over there you can just click it then attach it okay to any application maybe your cv or whatever to show that they're having changes and then you no longer need an employment permit in ireland so just to read it a, a bit it says legible spouses and partners do not need to acquire a new irp card to engage in employment if you can provide prospective employers the following letter in conjunction with your current card okay endorsed with a stamp three which explains this temporary administrative arrangement okay it says that please note that this arrangement is valid during the transition period until 15th May 2024. After this date, eligible spouses partners will have to renew their RIP card to stamp 1G. And then Fela it says, out whom does this apply to? Okay, so not just anybody at all. So now let's just look at those that they actually apply to. Okay, if you currently reside in the state to be eligible for this variant of emission, you must meet the following criteria on the 15th of May 2024. So it says that you are a spouse or partner of a general employment permit holder or intra corporate transferee as the ICT permit holder, which I've already said that, or a spouse or a partner of a critical skill employment permit holder or a researcher on the hosting agreement, and then the spouse or partner of a non consultant hospital doctor on a multi site general employment permit or your spouse or partner previously held one of the above and is now on stand for permission or your partner or your spouse has been issued a reactivation employment permit for a GEP or ICT, a general employment permit holder, the intra corporate transferee, or a critical skill employment permit holder, okay? And then you have been granted permission to reside in Ireland under the non-EA family reunification policy, very important, which actually makes you eligible. And you are legally resident in the state on a stamp three, okay? And then you wish to engage employment in Ireland, and then you are non EA UK or Swiss national, okay? Now let's look at those that it applies to all other family members. Please listen, all other family members, other than spouses and partners or employment permits, hosting agreements or intra corporate transfer employment permits holders a spouse or partner of an employment permit hosting agreement or intra corporate transfer permit holder who is who is present in the state on a different type of permission such as visitors condition or stamp two steady okay a spouse or partner of an employment general employment permit holder hosting agreement or intra corporate stamp three holders who have been issued stamp three permission for other reasons and are not spouses okay partners of an employment permit hosting agreement or intra corporate transfer permit holders so if you hold up some three and then you are not partners of this uh, category of people who actually hold this permission please you are not eligible to apply for a stamp one okay so that is the summary of immigration condition attached to a stamp one g permitted to work in the state without requirement to employment permits which is very good and then permitted to undertake a course of study in the states some of the benefits of holding a stamp one g that is what we are actually reading right now okay and then not permitted to establish or operate a business okay not permitted to be self-employed renewal of the stamp one g is required annually and then after five years on the stamp one g you may be eligible 
for stamp for permission. So the migrant knights of Ireland have also shown their appreciation to the ministers for the justice and enterprise trade and employment for this good initiative. However, they are still fighting for the joint family unification process, which is actually after 12 months. I think they are still fighting that. Nurses who actually came into Ireland as healthcare assistants do not really have to wait for this long before they are able to bring in their family. So I think it's also a very good cause. However, let's still applaud the ministers for this good initiative. And to all the spouses that are actually affected by this, I just want to say a big congratulations to you all. I wish you all nothing but the best. I thank you all for always coming through. If this video has been very helpful, please remember to share, like, and also drop a comments and don't forget to watch my video on the types of employment permits in Ireland. It's very important. See you all soon on my next video. Bye!